Hey guys, it's Vin Thomas, and uh, I have a quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys. So, um, as a web designer, I use a, a little add-on for Firefox called Firebug a lot, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. Um, and it's a really cool uh, way you can, um, you know, select elements on the page and, and update them, um, update the CSS uh, right in line or the HTML, and also does some other fun stuff with uh, JavaScript and whatever. Um, but anyway, one of the things that's always kind of bugged me about Firebug is um, editing hover states and because uh, you know say I wanted to like say this link here which you see kind of goes um, to that teal color when I hover over it um, well one thing I can do is inspect that element and down below in the firebug window down here you'll see it updates to show what the hover um, state looks like um, and so if you want to um, edit something you just kind of click it to lock it in place and then you can go ahead and you know so change the line height to you know 2.6 or whatever I mean you can kind of do that uh, right in line one of the things that bug me is you can't um, you know so say this hover you can see the hover effect is showing down in the in the window but when I click on it and go down to edit it um, it goes back to the default state so that's always kind of bugged me so what I do is just kind of click the style dot CSS and then usually the hovers right you know past it anyway so then I'd edit it here um, but it's just kind of one of those things that kind of bugged me. Anyway, I just figured this out and either this will show you how cool I am or it'll show you how uh, big of a noob I am. But uh, if, you, if you select a, an item, um, there's this little triangle by style. And so if you click that, there's active and hover. If you click hover, you'll see up above it actually locked in that hover state. So I could go ahead and change, you know, so let's change the drop shadow to, whoops. Um, if, if you come out of this window, it looks like it kind of unlocks it in. So, um, but you can see like I'm changing the, the drop shadow. Um, and then now when I go off, you know, I can see exactly what that did. So anyway, I thought it was pretty cool and pretty helpful for me um, to lock in those hover states um, and, and be able to edit them on the fly without kind of having to go through any uh, extra hoops. Hope it helps. Talk to you later.